Young men and women of the internet, I implore you, please do not marinate your chicken in NyQuil. Think of how embarrassing that would be. I know that it's exciting and exhilarating. There's a chance of going viral when you hop on the next TikTok trend, but do you want to be the dude who marinated his chicken in NyQuil for a couple of measly likes when you could be the dude who marinated his chicken in lean? I don't care what's trendy at the time. If there's no codeine and promethazine in your chicken marinade, you're simply not trying hard enough. So put the NyQuil back in grandma's medicine cabinet and grow some ball. In case any YouTube execs are watching, I'm just teasing kids, don't do drugs and please drink NyQuil responsibly. Now you guys are gonna love this. Uh, today, people are marinating chicken in NyQuil. Obviously a meme, but you know what I mean? Like people just do stupid shit on the internet to get views, but the, it got to the point where the FDA had to issue a warning advising the public not to cook chicken in NyQuil, uh, which can harm people and even cause death. Let's take a look I've at this, this one here. I've done this in the past, and usually I use about, you know, four thirds at a bottle. There you go, so four thirds. If it's your first thirds. time doing this, you can get away with using about a fifth. Season that NyQuil in there just at the right temperature. You never want to let it sit there and sizzle for about... Now this guy's got a little bit of a southern draw, so you know he's probably legit when it comes to seasoning chicken. So I can see why people would take this seriously. Like, I'm, I'm from the Northeast, and it's like, we don't have the same chicken cooking prowess that these southerners have. So when I see something like this, I might be apt to try it. So thankfully the FDA released something to let me know that it's dangerous to cook my chicken in NyQuil, so I'm not susceptible to being influenced by these mega popular videos on TikTok. Thank God for these government institutions for protecting the kids. Let's see how he... Uh, you know. Five to thirty minutes. Make sure you're constantly. Five to thirty minutes. Chicken. You don't want to give one side more attention <laughs> than the excellent. other. Oh, sometimes this steam really makes you sleepy. Mm. <laughs> oh fuck. What even is, is that like a? You're looking for is that blue color right flat there? Flat iron. All he's right, using his tongs. Go ahead and turn it off. Confusing me. Ooh yeah, that steam, baby. Drain the unused right back into the NyQuil can, just like so. And boom, NyQuil chicken. Now say what you want about NyQuil chicken. That was a great TikTok. The dude, he, he hit the satire perfectly. The problem with TikTok is something like that goes mega viral because it's unusual. And then all the kids are like, ooh, I can do it too. And then everyone takes it a step further. And I don't know, I haven't been on TikTok lately, but there's probably kids cooking this stuff up and eating it instead of you know just making it as a meme for, for getting views. So the most surreal part for me when stuff like this crops up and these stupid trends is that we can't all just collectively as a society like laugh and be like, ha Funny TikTok video, stupid, of course you wouldn't eat a Tide Pod or you're not gonna cook chicken in NyQuil, but it somehow continues to escalate to the point where it like is getting picked up by major news stations and we have to bring doctors on CNN to try to convince us why cooking chicken in NyQuil is bad for your health. So for the sake of this exercise, let's just say I'm a young, impressionable teenager desperate to go viral on TikTok and I'm just about to marinate my chicken in some NyQuil, but I'm on Twitter and I see this warning in this message from a CNN doctor first. Hopefully I'm dissuaded from making a grave mistake that could potentially ruin my future. All right, I wanna read this to make sure I get it right because it's that strange, right? Is it really that strange though? I mean, kids were eating Tide Pods in 2017. It's been like five years since then and this is all the innovation we can get. A Little bit of NyQuil chicken. The kids could at least step it up a little bit and like marinate the chicken in NyQuil, cook it so it's still a little bit raw and then blast it down your throat using a potato cannon. But of course these newsroom suits aren't gonna know good content when they see it. There's, the FDA has issued a warning about what I guess is a social media trend. I guess. About kids cooking chicken in NyQuil, using over-the-counter <laughs> drugs for funky stuff. What on earth is going on here? That's insane! They're co what? What? What the fuck do you think is going on here? Kids have too much time on their hands. Everyone's glued to their phone and dying to go fucking viral. The world is fucking falling apart. Inflation's out of control. Nothing fucking makes sense. Nobody can afford a home. Kids aren't learning shit in school. Everyone's getting in fights. So they're gonna cook their fucking chicken in a little NyQuil. Why are we so surprised? What in the world <laughs> is going on here? We've brought in our correspondent Respondent resident doctor to tell us about the dangers of cooking chicken in NyQuil. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to believe that this is even a thing. Disagree. And a couple years ago, it was taking too much Benadryl to hallucinate. So, you know, it just seems like one social yeah, media trend after another time. keeps popping up. And I think <laughs> parents really need to understand that this is going on, first and foremost. They need to keep their medicines, whether it's oh, over-the-counter prescription, out of reach or locked from kids in the home. They need to sit down and have conversations about 
how to take medication safely. That's right. <laughs> that's, what the, that's fucking fantastic advice. Thank you, Deborah. Now, son, I know last time you had a cold and fever and you took that cup of NyQuil and told me it was delicious. And I did, it did help with your symptoms. But I need you to know, son, that you can't be marinating, son, your chicken in this over-the-counter drug. It's in the cabinet where I've always kept it, but I'm gonna have to trust you. And we're having this talk right now uh, that you're not gonna marinate the chicken in it for a little bit of social media clock. But dad, all my friends are doing it and they're all getting tons of views. Did you not just see the CNN? The lady on the TV! It is not safe! Well, let me tell you, if you told the founding fathers we'd have to be having conversations with our kids about not marinating our chicken and cough syrup, boy, they wouldn't fucking believe you, would they? This social media, ah, huh? Boomer talk. Um, and also in a non-judgmental way about the dangers of things like this. I think you're definitely allowed to be judgmental. TMZ, of course, hopping all over this one. The FDA is warning TikTokers who are jumping on the latest craze to beware because NyQuil marinated chicken is a dangerous thing. Let's see some takes in the comments. What is wrong with this generation? Such a boomer take. They're going viral, bitch, and you're not. You're sitting here crying in the comments on Twitter. Can we just be done with TikTok already? <sighs> Absolutely not. How else is communist China gonna brainwash our children? A recent study shows that American youth between the ages of four and 15 spend nearly 86 minutes a day on Chinese-based social media platform TikTok. In China, kids are limited to just 40 minutes a day and are blocked from using the app called Douyin locally between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. However, in America, TikTok abuses our internet freedoms to stunt our children socially through 24 seven viral content filled with sex, drugs, and violent challenges. No idea where that was sourced from. That was just a screenshot from someone in the replies, but it does make you think a little bit. If there was ever a way you were gonna Trojan horse one of the long standing global superpowers, lobotomizing their youth while disguising it as entertainment might be a pretty effective way. I'm just saying. Upon further investigation now, I'm seeing this article from Forbes from January 16th this year called NyQuil Sleepy Chicken Challenge Trends on TikTok. Here are the dangers. Sleepy chicken, first of all, is a phenomenal way to label this thing, but apparently this has been around for a while and it just finally hit critical mass to where it's getting picked up a little more mainstream or went viral today. But it sounds like Sleepy Chicken has had some legs if it's been around this long. In case you were curious about this article, it is painfully cheeky, so I'll save you the time and summarize it by the last two sentences. Take everything on social media with a panful of salt without the NyQuil. Oh, and don't cook food in a medication simply because someone did it on social media. If someone were to give you the bird, a bird boiled in NyQuil that is, a proper response might be, what the cluck? I always love when a new potentially hazardous viral challenge pops up because it reminds me that even though we give Gen Z a hard time, they're still out here innovating on creative ways to get attention. And the boomers can't fucking believe it. Sitting at their news desk with their jaws on the floor speaking about the dangers of cooking cough medicine with chicken in a frying pan. Oh, oh, but if you inhale it, it could hurt your lungs. Bitch, I don't give a shit how dangerous it is. That shit made a banger TikTok. Walter White cooked medicine in a beaker and became one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet, so let me get mine and keep the word sleepy chicken out of your goddamn mouth before I put you in a hole next to Hank Schrader. Fucking narc. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, love you guys. Be back in a minute.